All right, y'all, so let's talk about something real quick. I'm going to make this clear to y'all. Within the first few moments of you meeting a female, and matter of fact, vice versa, within the first few moments of a chick meeting you, you already know what's up. You know whether or not you want to have sex with this chick. You know whether or not you want to friends on her or not. Same thing goes with a woman. And if anything, it's even quicker. With a chick, it's even faster. She might have peeped you when you came in the room. Okay, she's seen your outfit, she's seen your swag, she's seen how you walk, and she already designated you. Okay, this is Elaine. I'm not finna give him my number. I'm not finna give him no time of day at all. You were designated for that role. Or she seen you. She saw you swayed in a room. She saw how all the heads was turning at you. She saw how you was gliding through the room, dapping people up. Okay, you got room presence. People know you. She probably thinking, okay, he comes my way. If this dude comes and talks to me, I'm ready to give him my number. I'm ready to ask him at the end of the night what he's doing. I'm ready to go to his place. She willing to commute to your crib and drop the draws. Okay, all of this stuff is figured out within the first few moments of you seeing a chick, meeting a chick. A female's gonna designate you one way or the other. It just is what it is. One thing you guys cannot be doing is out here see if you get the short end of the stick okay and it might not be what you wearing it might not be what you said you know it might have just been something as simple as you know when you first met a group of chicks or something and she out here hugging every dude like let's say it was a group your friends y'all met another group of friends out a bunch of females this particular girl hugged everybody in your group but she just so happened to try to shit test your ass she stick her hand out now you got one or two decisions, man. You either shake that hand, you either clap her up like, you know, she a dude, like she one of your niggas, and accept that friendship, or you look at that shit like it's the plague and you slap it away like, nah, like what the hell you an extended the hand for? You know what I'm saying? If you fail that test and you shake her hand, even though she just hugged everybody else, and I know we in the middle of this COVID shit, but like, you got me fucked up. Bitch, I'd rather give you a hug and not look like one of these lames out here. The only dude that shook your hand and accepted that fucking friendship time out. I ain't accepting that bullshit. All right, bitch, I'd rather hug you and risk catching that fucking COVID. I'd rather spray myself down with Lysol later, take a, take a bath and hand sanitizer later before you sit here and try to catch me in the friend zone. You got me fucked up. You just got me fucked all the way up. So guys, if, if you take that hand, right, and she designates you in the friend zone, you, you automatically separate it from the rest of your guys. See, the rest of the guys wanted to get the physical contact. They wanted to get it in and out the way with. You, on the other hand, took the handshake. Now, the only thing that can make this even worse is if she drops some shit and she's sitting here looking at you like, are, are you finna pick this up? You finna pick this up for me? Okay, hold my drink while I go and dance with a dude for an hour. I'll be right back, though. She ain't gonna tell you when she coming back. She ain't finna tell you what she doing. She tells you to hold a drink. Can you please hold my drink? I don't care if she say pretty please. I don't care if she put icing on top. I don't care whatever the fuck. If a female asking you to hold her drink and you hold her drink willingly, you take a look over at the dance floor, she twerking on another dude, okay? She could have held her drink. She just wanted to have both her hands free so she could put them on her knees and throw that ass. Now she could have been throwing that ass on you, but you're not finna get that, bro. Okay, guys, if you doing shit like this, you are setting yourself up for that zone. You were setting yourself up to not get any play. You are setting yourself up to be seen as that kind of guy. And once you do some shit like that, first impressions, damn near everything. So, you know what I'm saying? Good luck. Good luck avoiding that shit. Most of the time, it's always up to you. You always designate yourself as that dude that could potentially drop the draws, you know, and have that pussy tonight. Or you could be the dude that is friend zone and, you know, she sends you a picture of a puppy and then... You respond back with a picture of your puppy and y'all go in and talking about some, some random shit. Okay, well, I took my dog to the vet last week. Oh, really? Well, I got to get shots next week. So, you know, maybe we can link up. Well, who's your vet? And all this. You don't want to be talking about no bullshit like that, all right? You don't want to be one of those dudes. Some of you guys are literally designated yourself. Just like she extended that hand of friendship, you sitting here clapping her up. Like, you, you guys accept this shit on purpose. You don't accept none of that shit, all right? It's up to you whether or not you stay in that zone in that mode or not. If you do some foolish shit like that, I mean, 
Good luck, man. Really good luck. I better not see some shit like that. I'd be damned if one of my homeboys did. I'd slap somebody in the back of their head if they did some shit like Real quick. Just so they could, you know, wake up real quick. If I see my homeboy, and I hope y'all got some homeboys like that that'll correct y'all real quick. Like, nigga, what the hell you doing? What the hell you doing, bro? And some of you guys are indirectly setting yourself up for that, for that prison. Because that's prison, man. Ain't nothing worse than being around an attractive woman and knowing that you in the friend zone. There's nothing worse than that. And some of you guys are sitting here and trying to convince... <laughs> Y'all niggas try to convince me. Like, oh, well, you know, but I'm her friend, but she got bad friends that she introduced me to. Yeah, yeah, she introduced you to her bad friends, right? They know that you're trying to get with her, but you can't because you're in the friend zone. And she see you as an attention simp. You know, you designated as that, bro. You're not finna be the guy that dropped the draws. You're not the guy that she introduced. Oh, this is my attractive friend. He fucks me real good. And let me let me uh, introduce my friends to you. Okay, they might like you too. I tell her I brag about your dick. You're not that friend. Okay, you're not that dude. You the dude that's like, okay, she introduced you to her friends. Oh, this guy I also get attention from. When I'm feeling down and drained, he, he lifts my spirit up. Okay, he brings that attention. He, he brings me some value. Go, go ahead and talk to him, too. He, he got puppies just like you do. He, he likes cats. He likes dogs. It doesn't matter what animal you got. He'll talk to you all night. He doesn't care. You don't got to give him no play. All right, you be that dude. You be designated bitch. Her friends aren't trying to fuck you. They see you at the club, right? They go out with you. Oh, well, they always invite me out. They always invite me out. Yeah, you be the designated driver. You be the DD, all right? You guys, I'm telling you, don't designate yourself as this person. I'm telling you not to do this. Because a female will sit here and purposely try to set you up just like they want you to fail shit tests. If they see you getting weak, they want you to fail the test. So they have a reason to keep you in there. Ain't nothing worse than a delusional simp. This nigga, yeah, I can't, man, I can't wait tonight. Hey, we going out tonight, bro. Hey, she says she bringing her friends. My nigga, you gonna be the guy that's in the club, right? Other dudes gonna come up. See, they gonna be scoping other dudes out. The real dudes that they wanna get with. You the first level of protection. You the protection from the other simps, the other weak dudes that see a guy, right? And they're like, oh, that must be her boyfriend. Let me walk away. No, 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 no. You the level of protection from them dudes because they don't want to deal with them either. They see you and they like, oh, man, that must be the boyfriend. Real dudes see her and her group of friends. They look at your ass like, you the gay dude, you the gay friend or the designated driver. You the simp. They know exactly what role you play. So they come up, you're no threat at all. They come up and they break shit down. They get her number. They hit her up later. Her and her friends come through to his penthouse. Okay, her and her friends drop that ass for them and his boys because they know he about that action. Don't be no designated simp. When she extend that hand of friendship, ask you to hold her drink, ask you to buy a drink. Don't, okay, we already, we ain't gonna get into that. Y'all already know what's up. Don't be that dude who's the professional photographer when he drunk. And y'all know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. Group of drunk friends come up to you and ask you, can you take this picture of us? It, fuck no, you ain't taking no damn picture. You ain't taking no damn picture, man. I don't care what kind of attitude she got. I done rejected plenty of females. Can you take a picture? Oh, I'm allergic to pictures. I can't hold nobody. I got a condition where I can't hold nobody's phone except mine. Oh, you got an Android? I can't even hold that shit. Oh, it's an iPhone what? Oh, it's not an X Plus? Oh, I can't hold it. I tell them like this, you better get one of your friends to take that picture, y'all. She'll be out. The next picture, some other friend hold it so she can be in the next one. And y'all just make a collage of the shit or just, just take a bunch of them. But I'm not holding the fucking camera. That ain't fucking, I ain't designating shit. The only thing I'm designating is these nuts in some other female's mouth. That's about it. 